Hi everyone. I wanted to let you know what my second virtual retreat was like. I'm sorry I'm kind of a mess. It's been uh, like doing chores. Horses are sweating so I'm washing them off and um because they leave salts on their skin and it help it keeps them from sweating the next day and keeping cool. So um, I got done with doing chores. I am working with two clients, uh, tea light candle readings. So I was like, I haven't gotten a lot of sleep. Um, and by the way, I'm Elena Roselyn Michelle. So, oh, and before I forget, I want to do a, a Zoom on Sunday after um, a couple hours after the retreat because I think it gets done at one and I probably can schedule a, a Zoom at 3 p.m. Pacific time. So if you're interested in getting a, a link for that, let me know. I may put that on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. Um, there's only a hundred spots. So um, yeah, I'm thinking big, right? Okay, so um, I guess I wanted to go into not uh, I, I I kind of feel like this video should be about what I'm learning because I was gonna do is like oh what I thought uh, I thought about zoom and um, being with 300 people and today was 3200 people and like 52 countries or 51 countries um, represented which was pretty awesome um, but I think um, I kind of need to verbalize heart's desires. Um, I've been doing this since, well, for 25 years actually, and working on timing, um, working as um, rising out of comfort zones as an introvert, because uh, doing something like this <laughs> would never have happened if I didn't go through all the training and stuff. Um, the other thing is all right, so boundaries, right? And that's why I took the social media break because I felt like everyone was stepping on me um, from extremes on both sides. So, and, it, and it's about stupid things, <laughs> uh, the things that are going on now. And I am the kind of person that I could be an extremist, no doubt about it, but I really believe in unity and equality in all things. I don't care if you guys don't. That's what I do. So um, I would hope that the people who are watching would have some degree of, yeah, that makes really good sense, Elena. Um, because, I mean, otherwise you're all destroying yourselves. And that's not what we were here to do. We were here to live long and abundant lives with love, joy, and peace. Not all this chaos. All right, so part of uh, the dreams that I've had ever since I was little uh, is healing. And I've been healing on Etsy. Um, I've done healing through phone calls. I work with um, veterans and non-veterans with post-traumatic stress disorders or symptoms because sometimes they don't know that they have that. People with bipolar um, they're traumatized as well, sometimes from a loss. Um, and not only that, there's other you know things that we all have trauma to. Sometimes it's just traumatic just getting on social media and I completely understand that. I don't like being triggered and <laughs> being into this anger mode and even driving. Um, last Monday, I think it was, I had three people pull themselves, um, one in a motorcycle, two in cars, randomly just pulled in front of me and if it wasn't for my angels I don't know how I would have gotten my heavy duty truck to stop in time I mean it was just like really people I have I drive with my lights on so this is the kind of chaos it's like this I kind of feel like the enemy is still trying to kill me because of my dreams um, and manifestations but it's it's a lot more than that so definitely for the last 25 years, I've always known that I would be healing my family. 
not just my physical family of my children that I gave birth to, not just my brother and sister, not just my aunts and uncles, my whole humanity of family, wherever you are in the world. All right, so I've always visualized healing in the masses. Always. <laughs> so it's like, I got a card today, um, it was just like on uncharted waters and I have to continue to step out of my comfort zone and um, what hesitates me is, is people ready? Are they really ready to get this kind of healing? Because the things that we do and stuff, I mean, how many times are you going to want to get healing? Um, biblically, I kind of feel like it's like go and sin no more means that you try to live the best life without getting all these, you know, triggers. Um, you know, it's, it's sickness and the sickness back then, um, you know, they had skin disorders, they had blood disorders, they had all kinds of other disorders, um, demonic, dis you know, um, possession, and yet they were still healed and to go and sin no more. So, um, and sin is negative emotions in their body. That is science. That, and I've tested that with my own children, where if I counted the negative emotions and took it out of their body, um, it wouldn't, it would not take out. But if I called it sins and just prayed over them, instantly they were healed. It was amazing. <laughs> so it was just like my daughter's like, "How do you do that, mom?" Yeah. So um, the other thing is, I've been trying to let people know for a long time. Um, and it's on my blog as well, is that I know how to turn water into wine. I've known how to do that since November 11th of 2011. Um, turning something into wine is actually, the wine represents a bloodline. So um, a person's name who is water is the bloodline. Okay, so, and we are in the queer and age, and if you look at the constellation, it is Peter, or it's a... Sometimes it's an angel, sometimes it's a woman that is pouring water from the heavens, from the heavens to cover the earth. And we're supposed to have like a huge typhoon or um, a huge hurricane to do a lot more damage even to what Hurricane Sandy was. But I just don't think it's a physical water like that, right? Spiritual water, spiritually, can cover the earth at one time through one person. All right, so healing the masses and I I believe I'm gonna start doing that on zoom and I'm just gonna do you know like once every two weeks I really feel to do weekly I'm not gonna charge for this just because so many people are in a financial crisis but if they would leave you know do an energy to energy exchange for something like leaving a comment or sharing my videos or uh, leaving a review or recommendation because you have to have some kind of an energy exchange. All right, so those are the things that, um, to step out of my comfort zone just to get things to continue to move. Um, I know Colette uh, is like, let it come to you. And it's like, um, I, I agree to an extent, but I still think that there's still we just don't sit around and wait around because, you know, I've been doing that for 25 years and nothing has really happened. And then with all these amazing miracles that happened in 2011, nothing really progressed, right? <laughs> Maybe for other people, but not for my life. And I really believe, you know, being called to do the teacher um, and transformational coaching, but, um, and community wise, so another thing I've been thinking about because I do belly dance is I am certified to teach Pulse Eights. Is a kid Katie Sharif had taught it to me, and um, that combines yoga with freestyle dance. That's two Middle Eastern music, but you use a veil. Um, you can use belly dance moves, but it's not necessary. It's not technical. It's just about flow and it flows through the chakras which is you know part of the energies of the seven um i've been teaching about the ancient sophagios 
And I think you'd be really surprised on some of the words and names in the Bible that actually relates to the 528, which is the heart chakra. Um, so yeah, go look up scripture verses chapter 5, verse 28, and you know, see what that says. Because I think it's pretty amazing. Um, so yeah, um, setting the boundaries, um, letting our intuition guide and be a service to our imagination. I call it creativity. So, um, yeah, everything I do is of service. And um, one of my mantras is that I am connected with the divine to express the creative, um, to express creative, yeah. I think I said of creative expression. So, um, yeah, so I'm kind of doing this kind of random. I'm really enjoying the um today i did get a phone call from my daughter so i did not get online until an hour after it started so i kind of missed the initial talk but i'm signed up to get the um some of the recordings which is i'm excited about because then i can still go and review that my children do come first because <laughs> they don't live with me and if they call i'm not going to miss an opportunity to call them because it's few and far between and um it, it was really serious and heavy because I think it's you know kind of moving out of fear and stepping into the light kind of thing or stepping into the destiny I really felt I did that in April but now it's just like you know I think people are finally ready to get healing well because we're in a pandemic um yeah, because energy healing r really helps a lot when you are really struggling and your body is decaying and, you know, your immunity breakdown. Uh, I was really sick in February for a week and a half and I did a lot of essential oils and listening to my active meditations that I have and, um, yeah, it kind of rose above that. And now everybody is at the level that I'm at. So I do want to keep offering something um, that I can give in gratitude for everybody who has helped me so far to get here, for my subscribers, for you guys who are loving the things I do, who leave comments, who share my content. Um, yeah, because, you know, everybody needs something, right, to, anymore. But I want to, you know, take that further because the more that you take, you must also be able to give back, right? So it's just like, you know, um, what can we do as a humanity to give back in this time? And no matter if you're in your home, no matter if you're, you know, have no work, we are generations, one generation back, my generation and two generations ahead of me are all making something out of nothing each and every day. So there is something that you can do where you don't even have to leave the house. Is you know you can just and you'll start a Facebook page or you know and having encouraging thoughts or something like that. And definitely ask for people who are who are needing it but ready for that change and transformation, right? Because we just don't want anybody who is not ready because they, they will be disruptive. So when, when we ask for those who are ready, then everything happens, right? So increasing, as I'm increasing the candle energies and increasing my own energy, I'm gonna continue to increase the world's energy right now. And so that's what I have to say. Um, it's a beautiful time on Oracle Palooza. I kind of wish I had the extra money to do her mentorship. Um, she's good doing um, a spiritual entrepreneur uh, classes next year, but I think I'm going to be above that even. <laughs> it's like I kind of feel like I'm kind of above. But anyways, I love y'all. Thank you so much for hearing me ramble. Have a great and godly day.